Hello everyone and welcome back to Gambito's YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve question number 30, 32 and 34 from the inception round of 2023 year of Meteox category. So moving on to the 30th question. We have to find how many cost, least cost it will take to form a single long chain out of these six chains of four rings each. So the chain that would be formed would be having six into four, 24 rings. So how can we do that? One way of doing so is by opening each chain and connecting it to, other, to the next one. Like opening the first string and connecting it to the next and then closing it. So it will cost 1 plus 4, 1 for opening and 4, 4 closing. Similarly here, 1 for opening and then 1 for closing. 1 plus 4, here, 1 plus 4, here and here. So total cost here will be 25. However, this is not the least cost that we have to pay. We can decrease this by a smarter approach in which we will open all the rings of a single chain. In doing so, it will cost 1 into 4 is equal to 4 rupees. And we would be having 4 chains opened. Now, we will entangle them in the joints of each of these 5 rings. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and close them in 4 rupees each. So closing 4 rings for 4 rupees will call 4 into 4 is equal to 16 rupees. Hence the total cost incurred will be 4 plus 16 is equal to 20 which is our answer. Moving on to the next question, question number 32. We are given that there are 20 people P1 P2 to P20 for each group of 4 people out of this 20 people given at least one of those 4 know the other 3 persons. Hence if we take any group like P5, P8, P12, P15 at least one of them knows other 3. And if X knows Y, if P5 knows P8, then P8 also knows P5. So it goes two way. However, it is given that there are 3 persons, P1, P2 and P3, who do not know each other. Like P1, P2 and P3 do not know each other. Know each other. So P1 do not know P1, P2 do not know P3 and P1 do not know P3. So we have to find how many of the how many of the person out of this 20 know everyone else. Like for P1, if P1 knows all P2 to P20, all, all remaining 19 people, then the count increases by 1. So we have to count the number of persons. How we will do so? It is given that P1, P2, P3 don't know each other. So if we take another person with them like P1, P2, P3 and Px, X can be P4 to P20. This Px would be knowing each of P1, P2 and P3 since it is given that out of each group of 4 people at least one person knows the other 3 and P1, P2, P3 do not know each other hence Px would be knowing P1, P2 and P3. Therefore, हमारे पास आ गया कि P4 से P20 तक सबको P1, P2, P3 जानते हैं. Also, अगर अब एक और तरीका है grouping करने का, that is, if we take P1, P2 and some other two persons, Px and Py. Now, Px and Py can be anyone from P3 to P20. We can take any pair. So here P1 and P2 would not be knowing each other. 
and P X and P Y would be knowing P one and P two. So P X knows P two, P X knows P one, and P Y knows P two, P Y knows P one. We have proved this above. So now at least one of P X and P Y would be knowing the other three because P one and P two do not know the other three, and there is at least one person like that. So we will assume that P X knows everyone. So if P X knows P one P two, it is we have already calculated. So if if P X knows P Y, then P Y also knows P X. Hence P X and P Y both know P one and both know other other three persons. Hence like this we can take all P X and P Y such possible combination and they would be knowing each other. Therefore all the remaining persons out of 20 except p1 p2 and p3 would be knowing everyone else therefore answer would be 20 minus 3 is equals to 17 moving on to the next question question number 34 we have to calculate the number of times 5 occurs while writing the numbers from 1 to 1000 and we have to report the sum of digits of x of the calculated number so how are we going to do so one of the ways always brute force you can apply some mathematics and see some sequences and know how many times five will occur one smarter way is is to see from probability or observation so number of times 5 occur in writing 1 to 1000 would be equal to times it occurs while writing numbers from 0 to 999 since 5 do not occur in 0 and neither in 1000 so our count will remain same so these are all the possible three digits number if we consider 0 as 000 and 999 so all three digit numbers now there is ones digit tens digit and hundreds digit in ones digit 5 comes in 5 comes once in every 10 times so in every 10 tum numbers 5 5 will come one time because the numbers move like 0 1 2 3 9 0 1 2 3 they move in this pattern of 10 and 5 will come once in every of this sequence so total number of numbers are 1000 5 comes once in every 10 numbers hence 5 will come 100 times on one digit in writing this sequence similarly for 10 digit 5 comes 10 times in every 100 numbers when we write something like x 5 y so in 50s like from 50 51 .59 5 will come 10 times on one ten digit so 10 times out of every 100 numbers in 1000 numbers would be 100 again similarly for 100 digit it will come 100 times in every 1000 numbers while writing 500 something therefore 100 into 1000 upon 1000 equals to 100 so 100 times on ones place 100 times on tens 100 times on thousands total will be 300 and sum of these digits will be 3 and sum our answer now moving on to the homework problem there are n rings chained together continuously and we have to form a flower ring out of it what is this this is all n minus 1 remaining rings entangled in a single ring like this the n minus rings are not entangled between each other they are entangled in a single ring We have to find minimum cost. Opening cost is one, and closing cost is four. 
do comment out the answer it will come in terms of n in the comment box thank you for watching the video see you next time